Draymond's fourth ejection of the season less than four minutes into the second night of a back-to-back -back had Stephen Curry emotional to the point of tears. Having dealt with drama like this for the last 12 years, day in, day out, made it a rightful breaking point for the top five player of all time. But he and the dubs weren't about to let Green getting tossed disrupt their flow. Following my last Warrior video, calling out nearly 20 unacceptable defensive lapses in the span of two L's to Memphis and Indiana, the Dubs responded by holding Miami to just 92 points, the third lowest scoring total they've allowed in a game this season. A one-hour flight north to Orlando would, despite Green's ejection, feature Golden State holding the Magic to just 11 first quarter points, the second lowest scoring total of any team this season in an opening frame. The Dubs' most recent back-to-back -back sweeping displayed their frustratingly high potential. As Andrew Wiggins living up to expectations as this team's make-or-break X-Factor with a team-high 23, Moody Payton and Pajemski combining for 28 points, 15 rebounds, 5 stocks, and 4 dimes off the pine, plus Thompson and Jackson Davis stepping up into the starting five, then Curry closing the show in hilarious fashion, all made the Golden State Warriors response a movie, don't miss every detail. Right quick, just 12.4% of you according to YouTube are subscribed, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops. Thank you for any bit of support. Back to the content. Moses Moody drops Joe Ingles with this tween triple in and out dribble chained into a hop step through the lane, and watch Jingle and Joe tumble through Isaac's legs as Moses glides to the cup. Moody wasn't done there. Isaac fails to record this steal, allowing Paul to regather it and find Moody in the dunker spot, and he embraces the trailing contact of Black for the N1. Following a pod's brick, watch Moody's elite IQ measure up the angle of the miss before he outsprings the 6'11 Mo Wagner in addition to Cole Anthony, then outmuscles Wagner by ripping it away and finds Clay for the momentum swaying triple. More Moody O board getting would this time lead to one of the more impressive putbacks you'll see, as following another pod's brick, Moody would fly through Wagner before utilizing his Olympic gold medalist esque running long jump ability to non hesitantly spring up over both. With Bancaro and Ingles, not to mention his own teammate in Looney for a fearlessly ridiculous two-handed follow-up. However, it was the Vets stamping the dub for the dubs. A floppy action features Clay utilizing a TJD pin down, receiving the Curry swing, and draining it with just an inch of space. Wiggins would take Anthony to the block where he backs him down, pivots around for a spin to his left, and over the late backside help of Isaac, finishes plus the foul. Resorting back to the floppy, in a one-point game, Clay responds to a trap by bouncing it to the pocket for TJD, who also makes a great read by drawing Wagner and over the shouldering to GP2, who upfakes and banks it home for a clutch hoop. But no one was more clutch than Wardell, who like 2011 Derrick Rose, carves through this pick and roll trap with a shiftily quick twitch assortment of elusive dribble combos, getting him downhill where he gallops through the lane and miraculously extends over Paolo. Putting a cherry on top was this step back to shed Suggs, which after all the drama ensued by the green ejection, was fitting, and so was this definitively hilarious Night Night Selly. Then, to the joy of the biggest Curry stands out there, in patented fashion, the man would also kick a chair. Shifting from a deep dive into the film into the game's top storylines, the biggest of which over the past two outings, specifically in Orlando, was the killer from Toronto, A. Wiggins. What's scary is, we can see a lot better than that 23-point showing from Maple Jordan, but this was the springiest, most agile, under control, and unrelentingly confident I had seen Andrew in a while, and it was a sight to behold. Just like when he baptized Luca, Wiggins is the vibe-enhancing, limitlessly talented force that will either fold to the moment and the dubs will fail to make the playoffs, or will find the mental and physical determination to live up to his capabilities and the dubs will go on a miracle run that sends shockwaves and nightmares to fans rooting against Golden State across the globe. How bad does Wiggins want to shake up the world means everything. Regarding the green ejection, only a few games ago following the loss to Indiana, Kerwood praised Raymond for his improved temper. Green would proceed to make Steve eat those words by clotheslining Patty Mills on one night in Miami, then getting ejected in the first quarter in Orlando. Kurt did say regarding the ejection, too bad, it was unfortunate, he deserved it. So decent accountability there from Steve, 
Dre's ejection can't happen, but it would be anything but a distraction and conversely fire up the Warriors. The Dubs closed the first period following Dre's ejection on a vicious 21-5 run. They fought off adversity in terms of almost giving up another 12-plus point lead, but most noteworthy was how their defense was good enough to be a driving factor on a consecutive night. Not simply Klay Thompson's offense has been exceptional as his efficiency in March has been above average for an 18-point per game score, but likewise it's been KT's low center of gravity and lateral quickness defensively that's been just as valuable. This has all led to Thompson being a plus 30 over the past five games, only trailing the team's two best players in Curry and Green over that span. Play getting the start, Mena moved back to the bench for Pajemski, but 9 rebounds for the rookie and much better attention to detail and intelligence defensively made the recently turned 21 year old a warrior high off the bench of plus 10 in 21 minutes of action. Kevon Looney had been receiving a ton of rest, as I suggested in this video right here, so credit to Kerr for that, and this rest in previous games allowed Kevon to step up for Draymond's absence with much better energy on the defensive side and overall movement. Looney seems to be watching his weight a bit better at the right time, and just as crucially, it seems his legs are getting to where they need to be with constant rehabilitating treatment. Gary Payton II's quickness as the roller was bothersome for Orlando, as the Magic Bigs had trouble sticking with GP2 throughout the entire game. When GP2 was in Portland for that half a season, the universe just wasn't aligned, as the young glove is meant to be a warrior, as he fits in with the Bay Area culture, while being a prevalent offensive connector that's versatile, and a tone-setting all-NBA defensive presence on the other side. Trace Jackson Davis filled the rebounding void in the absence of Draymond, as the draft robbery out of Indiana stepped up with a game high by far 14 rebounds. More board getting dominations will be prevalent for the year one freak athlete. Stay healthy, stay smart, Mr. Jackson Davis. All these contributions allowed the Warriors to win despite Stephen Curry not having the best night shooting the basketball. Steph was, however, a game high plus 18, staying engaged in other areas like vocal and body language leadership. In addition to facilitation and defense, Steph finished with a game most 10 assists, but the fact that Golden State's now won their last three games where Curry scored 17 points or less against Memphis, Miami, and then Orlando displays the depth of this team is showing signs of life. That said, Kerr starting the fourth quarter with Curry against the Magic is something the Warriors will need more of. This win didn't stop an injured key piece to the on-fire Houston Rockets' Tari Eason from taking shots at Golden State after his team beat OKC in overtime, putting them just a game back of the Warriors. Warriors! Come out to play! Warriors! Come out to play! Yeah! It's like that! We'll see how poking the bear serves Eason. In terms of the Warriors, Curry would speak on Draymond post game. What did, what did you think of the Draymond injection? Oh, I said, we need, we need him. He knows that. We all know that. So whatever it takes to keep him on the floor and be available, that's what's got to happen. I want to know what the biggest piece of adversity the Warriors have faced this season in your opinion. Best answer gets next video's commenter shout out while competing to be one of five in position to win either a free jersey or shoe. Today's commenter shout out goes to The Bread who says Luka and Kyrie are the best duo period. It's easy for Luka to say Kyrie is Batman when he's so obviously Superman. Nice answer. Thank you for watching, your boy DFlow signing off.